So on January 26, 2022, Harley released a video launch of the new 2022 model lineup. And I'm super glad that this is becoming the norm for the company as they used to only do new model release events for dealership personnel. And that really never made sense to me. In the 2022 model release video, CEO Jochen Zeit says, in these unprecedented times, we were inspired by you. Uh -huh, that's right, you, our passionate community. It is your passion that fuels Hardy Davidson and pushes us to continue leading our industry through innovation and evolution, but staying true to who we are and what we stand for. Well, with that said, hang on tight because in this video, I'm gonna cut through a lot of the fluff and BS and tell you as a real world biker, what's going on with Hardy Davidson and share with you what you actually need to know about the new 2022 model lineup plus more. Okay, let's do this, huh? Welcome back, bikeholics. Ryan Erlocker here, lawabidingbiker.com. I always thank you, that's right, you, for checking back in. And if you're new to the channel, no, I don't work for Harley Davidson whatsoever. So the information you get here on this channel is independent. And in the 2022 model video release, CEO Jochen Zeitz gives us a brief look back at 2021 and focuses on the Pan America and Sportster S release, both having the new Revolution Max 1250 powertrain, of course. And I think it's a good idea for us to take a quick look back too. And the Pan America quickly became the number one selling adventure touring bike in North America. The Pan America also won two awards, Motorcycle of the Year and Best Adventure Motorcycle from Motorcycle.com and Best Adventure Bike from Cycle World. And I think those awards are well deserved in my opinion, as I got to test ride this bike. Further, Hardy is releasing a new selection of colors, accessories, and updates for the Pan America in 2022. And remember, there is a standard Pan America and the Pan America Special which is the model with all the bells and whistles. The regular Pan America looks like it comes in vivid black only, while the Pan America Special is coming in vivid black with cast or laced wheels, gauntlet gray metallic with cast or laced wheels, and fastback blue, white sand and cast or laced wheels with that one too. And it saddens me that the Pan America Special with that orange tank and white fairing is not available anymore. From what I can tell on the website, that really was my favorite color, and I thought it just screamed Harley Davidson. I really wish it was still available. So Harley, if you're listening, paint one up just for me, huh? Oh, and by the way, Harley had me test ride and review the Pan America in Sturgis last year, and you should definitely check that video out after this one. We also did an in-depth podcast interview about the Pan America and how it came to be with Paul James, Senior Manager of Public Relations, and Mike Case, Group Chief Engineer for Vehicle Platforms. I'll link to both the Pan America video and the podcast in the description below. So let's start with the Sportster S, which was released in 2021. Of course, this bike has the new Revolution Max 1250T engine, which is tuned just a bit different than the Revolution Max 1250 that we see in the Pan America. What a little ripper this bike is. And it starts at $15,000 and it's coming in three colors. Those colors are Vivid Black, Mineral Green Metallic, and my favorite, White Sand Pearl. And Jochen teases us and says, we are just getting started with the next generation of Sportster and look forward with sharing more with you soon. Well done, Jochen. Well done, my friend, teasing us like that. Yep, that's marketing 101. Let's not forget that Hardy also introduced the all new Icons collection in 2021, starting with the release of the Electra Glide Revival, which is a modern reproduction of the 1969 Harley-Davidson Classic and has the Milwaukee 8114 engine along with all the modern bells and whistles. And that is one sexy bike and I'd love to have one. And we actually did a podcast episode on this bike, so check it out. I'll link to it in the description below. Oh, and at Sturgis 2021, Hardy also introduced that Arctic Blast Street Glide Special and limited it to just 500 units. And what a beautiful bike that is. And it's worth noting that Hardy Davidson Screaming Eagle factory team rider Kyle Wyman won the 2021 Moto America King of the Baggers Championship on his road glide. And he did it just three weeks after surgery with a titanium plate and six screws in his broken elbow. And if you haven't checked out the King of the Baggers race series, I strongly suggest you do so. It's pretty badass. And it's also worth mentioning that in 2021, the company launched the Hardy Davidson Marketplace on their website, where you can shop for and buy pre-owned bikes. So up until now, we just had the standard and special Street Glide and the Road Glide models, but now we have the all new Street Glide ST and Road Glide ST. The launch of these two bikes is the first step for Hardy Davidson into that performance leading Great American Touring product line, and there's a lot to talk about. 
But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon. Every time those are hit, another biker joins the revolution. We'd love to have you be part of it. These ST models are designed for weight, power, and performance. They got rid of the two-up seat and made it faster, more nimble, and it has better lean angle, and they also raised the height. It's worth noting that this is the first time you see a CVO level powertrain on a non-CVO bike. The SDs are coming with the Milwaukee 8117 powertrain with heavy breather and specially tuned for that exhaust. The Harley logo on the tank is taken from the race bikes from the 1920s. You'll also see a bronze accents on the powertrain and the bronze wheels, which is inspired by the Lowrider S. I also noted that the ST is coming with a smaller and lower engine guard. And of course, there's an entire collection for add-on parts for the ST models called the Performance Baggers Trim Kit. Oh yeah, for some money, you can really dress the spike up and make it even more powerful with something like a 131 stage four kit and high flow exhaust. You can even add Screaming Eagle Olin's shocks to the rear. Hardy says the ST models basically give you something right out of the box. It's a shortcut to your performance bagger dreams. These ST models start at $30,000. And you can get both the ST models in either Vivid Black or Gunship Gray, which is my favorite color if you're wondering. However, they only come with the black powertrain and exhaust. And I'm personally very disappointed uh, that there's not a chrome option on the ST models. Many of us out here still like that traditional chrome. But with that said, I still want a Street Glide ST badly. In fact, I was drooling over them watching the video. I think they really knocked it out of the park with the STs. Let me know in the comments below on your thoughts of whether they should have produced a chrome version of that ST model. And yes, in 2022, there is also both the standard Street Glide and Road Glides available, along with the Street and Road Glide specials. And a quick recap for everybody. The standard models come with the smaller 4.3 touchscreen boombox infotainment system. The Milwaukee 8107 cubic inch engine have less color options and start at $22,000 while the special models come with a large boombox GTS touchscreen infotainment system. The Milwaukee 8114 cubic inch engine sits a little lower, has more color options, and starts at $27,500. If you're wondering, yes, you can add the Reflex Defensive Rider System, RDRS, to either the standard or special models for $1,025, and I highly suggest doing so. If you don't know what RDRS is, well, I made a video on it and I'll link to it in the description below. The standard street and road glide models come in vivid black, midnight crimson, or white sand pearl, and they only have a chrome engine and exhaust. The street glide specials come in vivid black, black denim, gunship gray, white sand pearl, or midnight crimson and vivid black. And you can get any of these paint schemes with either the chrome or blacked out version. There is also a red line red model, but it only comes blacked out. And the Rogue Light Special comes in the same colors and options. However, it exchanges the Midnight Crimson Vivid Black for a Reef Blue Vivid Black color scheme. And that's my personal favorite out of all the options. And yes, I'm very pleased they have a chrome and black option on the special models. So we've still got a lot to talk about, but let's finish up the Grand American Touring lineup for 2022. And just real quick, as you can imagine, a lot of effort and expenses go into keeping this channel going strong. And there is a way that you can support us by becoming a patron member. I'll link to it in the description below. There are benefits, of course, for becoming a member, such as t-shirts and stickers. You get access to the private Facebook group, which is a troll-free zone, nothing but bikers helping bikers. Access to live video broadcasts and chat access to podcasts early, premium videos, and of course, those ride, meetup, and events. Sincerely, I appreciate each and every member. Okay, let's get back into your video. So we've got the electric light standard in vivid black starting at 19,500. Then there are the Road King and Road King Special. You gotta love the good old Road Kings, huh? The standard model comes with the Milwaukee 8107, is equipped with a windshield, comes in chrome only, starting at $20,000 and comes in three colors. Vivid Black, Midnight Crimson, Gauntlet Gray Metallic Vivid Black, which I really like. The special model comes with the Milwaukee 8114, is not equipped with a windshield and comes only blacked out, starting at $23,500 and it too comes in three colors. Vivid Black, Midnight Crimson and Mineral Green Denim. And I'm not usually a fan of green, but this shade looks pretty sexy on the Road King. The Reflex Defense Rider System is also a paid option on either of these bikes. And we mustn't forget about the good old Ultra Limited. This bike comes with the Milwaukee 8114, starts at $30,000 and comes in four color options, which are Vivid Black, Gauntlet Gray Metallic, 
Midnight Crimson Vivid Black, and Reef Blue Vivid Black, like we saw on the Rogue Glide Special. You can also get the bike with any of the colors in either chrome or blacked out. Of course, this bike comes with the Boombox GTS touchscreen infotainment system with rider and passenger speakers. And yes, RDRS is an add-on option. There's also the Rogue Glide Limited, also coming with the M8114 and in three colors. Vivid Black, Mineral Green, and Gauntlet Gray Metallic, Vivid Black. And the blacked out version has the same colors, but it has the Reef Blue Vivid Black instead of that Gauntlet Gray Metallic Vivid Black. And we'll finish up with the trike models. There's the Freewheeler, which is the non-fairing version of the trike coming in three color options, sporting the Milwaukee 8114 engine and starting at $28,500. Last, the Tri-Glide Ultra, which is the full touring model with fairing, also comes in three color options, sporting the Milwaukee 8114 and starts at $35,700. Next, let's talk about the 2022 CVO lineup. And if you're new to all of this, CVO stands for Custom Vehicle Operations and started back in 1999. These bikes are the highest level factory customized bikes that the company offers. And for 2022, we have the CVO Street Glide, Road Glide, Road Glide Limited, and the Tri Glide, all coming with the Milwaukee 8 117 powertrain. And of course, there are an array of paint scheme, graphics, parts, tech, and audio options on the CVO models. The CVO Limited and Tri-Glide are coming with the Rockford Fosgate Stage 1 speakers, and the CVO Street Glide and Road Glide are coming with the Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 speakers. And I gotta say that the Envious Green Fade with Subdued Black Flames paint scheme on the Street and Road Glide CVOs is just plain awesome. Okay, okay, I know you've been waiting. Yeah, yeah, we gotta talk about the new Low Rider S and Lowrider ST models in the Cruiser lineup. I'm also really hoping to test ride and review some of these new 2022 models and put out some videos for y'all on this channel. So, Hardy decided to take the Lowrider S to the next level this year with the addition of the Lowrider ST. The Lowrider S and ST have been bumped up to the Milwaukee 8117 powertrain now and it puts out 125 foot-pounds of torque. The Lowrider has a heavy breather with a new exhaust setup, and they also changed the suspension and raised the bike a little to give it more lean angle. The instrumentation has also been moved from the tank up to near the handlebars to make it easier to see for the rider. The Lowrider S has a smaller fairing while the ST has a larger frame mounted fairing and it's loosely modeled off the iconic 80s FXRT. It's pretty cool looking and functional with the side ducts. The ST also has hard saddlebags that can be removed. You sit back a little more on the standard Lowrider S, and they made it so you sit more upright on the new ST model. There is also a 2.14 inch viewable area LCD display showing a speedometer and all the other information you need. Now, the ST does not come with an audio system out of the factory, but I did find a Rockford Fosgate Harley branded interfering audio system that you can purchase for $1,000 and install. The ST comes standard with cruise control and is truly a lightweight, powerful touring bagger in my opinion. The Lowrider S and ST come in either Vivid Black or Gunship Gray. The Lowrider S starts at 18,000 while the ST starts at 21,800. So let's breeze through the rest of the bikes in the Cruiser lineup for 2022. First, we have the Iron 883, which has the 883cc air-cooled Evolution engine, comes in three colors and starts at 10,800. This is just a great little starter bike and all around town commuter and has its own unique style and look. Second, we have the 48, which is a step up and has the 1200cc air-cooled Evolution engine. Comes in three colors and starts at $11,800. This bike also has a unique style and look, especially with that fat front tire. Third is the Softail Standard, which has the Milwaukee 8 107 cubic inch engine coming only in vivid black with chrome and starting at $14,000. This bike is definitely a step up in the Cruiser lineup uh, with that larger engine and taller ape hanger bars. If you want a bike to really customize, then this one is a top pick for me. Fourth is the Street Bob 114, and of course the name says it all, as it has the M8 114 engine, and that's a lot of motor for that little bike. It too has its own style and flair with its short ape hangers, rubber boots over the front forks, and that awesome bobbed rear fender. It's coming in four colors, and it's all blacked out. I love the Harley number one logo painted on the tank. And the Vivid Black with Orange Tank takes the award for the best paint and graphics in my opinion. It just screams Harley Davidson. Now this bike is starting at $15,000. Fifth is the Fat Bob 114. Again, the name calling out the M8 114 engine. 
I've always thought that this bike is underrated and unappreciated by many. I love its fat front tire, that aggressive look, the exhaust, that rear fender and rectangle front headlight. This is a screamer of a smaller bike and I've actually always wanted one. It's all blocked out with chrome accents and comes in two colors. It's starting at $19,000. Six is the classic Fatboy coming with the M8 114 engine. Now the Fatboy has been around a long time and it's loved by many. It's got lower bars, that fat rear tire, and that big, beautiful chrome headlight bezel. Interestingly, the Fatboy has always had those solid cast wheels and in 2022, they actually put some cutouts in those wheels. Now it's coming all chromed out in three different colors and starting at $20,000. It's gonna be the next Icon Collections bike. No, it's not, Lurch. And last but not least is the classic, Heritage Classic, in all its glory with its M8 114 engine here in 2022. Now, I love the look of this classic bike with its windshield, its leather saddlebags, and its three lights up front. This bike is coming in a bunch of different colors, chrome and black, and you have laced and cast wheel options starting at $20,000. And I know some of you will be disappointed because Hardy cut the Sportster 1200, the Softail Slim, and the Sport Glide from the 2022 lineup. Oh, and we must not forget about the electric lineup featuring the Livewire electric motorcycle, of course, which I've done a video on in the past and I will link to it in the description below. Interestingly, when you click on the Livewire on the main Harley website, it actually takes you to a new website for the Livewire, which is livewire.com. And that's because the Livewire has been split off and become its own company. Additionally, they've got Serial 1E bicycles and electric balance bikes for sale on the website. So some other interesting news, starting April 1st, the company will be kicking off the Road to Harley Davidson Homecoming Challenge. Now this challenge runs from April 1st to the end of September, 2022. They're actually gonna select 120 riders from the challenge for an all expense paid trip to celebrate with Harley personnel, the 120th anniversary at the Harley Davidson homecoming event in Milwaukee in the summer of 2023. Now I did some quick research and it appears if you enter your email, to the enter the challenge page. They'll send you an email when the road to the Harley Davidson homecoming challenge actually goes live. The website also says, in the meantime, download the Harley Davidson app so you're ready to join the riding challenges and log your miles when the road to Harley Davidson homecoming challenge begins. So it appears the competition will be based on miles you log while riding. I'll link uh, to the email signup page for you in the description below if you're interested in that. Okay, so some quick predictions here. Now, although I have no inside information on this, my personal prediction is that Hardy will release either one or two more bikes into the Icons collection in mid-2022. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the Fat Boy. Lurch thinks it's the Fat Boy, we know now. And in the coming months, Harley will announce another new Sportster model or the next version of the Sportster S. Again, these are just our predictions. And better than our predictions are yours. So let us know any predictions or information that you may have in the comments below. This here on this channel is a community and we really do look forward to reading those comments. All right, your journey's not done on the channel. I'm gonna pop a couple of videos on the screen here for you. Hopefully some useful or entertaining. Heck, maybe both. At any rate, when you're done watching the video, make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get bikeaholics. Peace.